Hey human family, it's Darren. Welcome back to Fully Alive Again, where we regain our power, happiness, and take our lives back. Through learning all that we can about narcissism, relationships, and personal development. If you enjoy daily videos full of good information, food for thought, and powerful tools that help you recover from toxic relationships and people, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you are first to know when I upload a video. I got an amazing show for you guys today. If you can grasp what I am saying, by the end of this video, your power will increase and your fears will subside side to a certain degree. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. So let's do what we do and dive deep. No tears, no fears, fully alive again after this years. The goal of a narcissist is to prevent us from connecting and staying connected to our power. They not only drain us of energy, they're doing that for a purpose, to empower them and to drain us from accessing, from accessing and connecting to our power. They do this because they do not have the ability to connect to the power core, the nucleus of human power that exists inside of us. Stay with me here, you guys. You see, I believe that what we call the higher self in us sentient human beings is what I call the I principle. Now, I'm not talking about the I, E, Y, E, that we all see with and filter the world with, I'm talking about the I that is the center of human existence, the nucleus of who you, me, we are. It is the hub of human existence. And the I is often in conflict with the me. Let me differentiate these two very quickly. The me is full of labels and conditioning. The me is what our parents named us. My name is Darren. Our own family culture and experience. Then our society culture and experience and and the nation that we grew up in. From the language to the foods to the laws and regulations and structure of any society. That is what creates the me. The me is kind of like a narcissist. It is the false self. Don't get me wrong. It is part of who you are, but it is not who you are. Does that make sense? Stay with me, you guys. You see, the me, the me is the inner critic that's been conditioned in us, inside of us by narcissists be it a narcissist parent, a narcissist lover, authority figure, or the narcissism that exists in the world today. You see, the I is the person that is evaluating your existence when you look in the mirror. If you were to grab a mirror right now and just look at yourself and continue to look at yourself without judging your thoughts or yourself and just look silently within a minute or two, you would come to the conclusion that there is a deeper entity inside you. That is the I. You see, all of the great thinkers throughout history, when they said, who am I, were talking about who am I, not in terms of who is me that my parents conditioned me and society conditioned me to be, but who is the I inside me? Who am I? What is this energy, this power that exists inside of me? That is the power 
that a narcissist does not have and that you have, and it is imperative that you connect to this. Because when you understand this and connect to it, nothing will be able to hurt you again. The I is the core, the hub, like a will. Our emotions are part of the experience and the navigation tools to live our lives from. We are not our emotions. See, a narcissist believes their emotions. Whatever, they're, whatever they feel is real to them because they don't have a hub. They don't have the I. Now, all of the great thinkers have been screaming until they're out of oxygen about the importance of the internal life. Let's take a quick look at what some of them had to say. You see, take a look at this graphic. The I is the center of who we are, that ball of energy we were talking about earlier. Things like our nationality determine who the me is, our man-made race, our culture, our religion, our political party, economic status. All of these things generate who the me is. But it's, a, it's like a wheel. It's always turning. It's always spinning, but the I remains the same. That I is the human potential in you after narcissistic abuse. No one can destroy the I. That's what these demonic creatures are afraid of. You could call that I the essence of God. The energy that beats your heartbeat the energy that gives you the ability to navigate and recover from the difficulties of life. You are not your race. You are not your culture. You are not your religion. You are not your political party. You are not your economic status. You are not your nationality. You are not the relationship that you've gone through with the narcissist. You are something greater than that, that words cannot express. The I is fearless. This is why the narcissist wants you to disconnect from it. Because that is your power. This is why they try to confuse you. This is why they try to troll by creating fake accounts on dating sites, on Facebook, on YouTube. These people are just destruction. That's all that they know how to live. And it's weird, they are all the same. That's why you know it's something more than a psychological problem. Because these monsters operate the same, these little weak monsters. As I say, it's better to be tricked or fooled or tormented by a narcissist than the B one. They do not have the core of the I, which is the self. This is where the self lives that can navigate all of the things spinning around on a wheel. This is what is missing. Change. There's nothing you can do about that. But that is not who we are. The fear, the anger, the confusion, the narcissistic fog that you are in right now is not who you are. It is simply what you are experiencing. Be it the stress or the anger or the loneliness or the fear or the, the jealousy of why are they not being held accountable for this and I'm so pissed off and I hate them for what they did. The depression, the stupidity. If we're bored, 
if we feel out of place because of this this abuse that we've gone through if we feel inferior because of the abuse that we've gone through you guys none of this is who and what you are the more that you quiet the mind through meditation the more that you step back and observe your behavior evaluate what you're doing like you would a stranger or a friend the closer you get to the I. Who am I? What is the I? The I is the most powerful energy on earth and it cannot be broken by a narcissist. The me is what narcissism, narcissism is made of. The me is what societies are made of. You are being pulled away from the I. That's why we feel unbalanced. The narcissist is crazy and evil because they don't have an I. The I is the identity. The person looking in the mirror at the me identity. Imagine being void of this. There is no I. So for so there's no ability to create inner peace. So then you build a society and a philosophy, a psychology that can only feel joy by external stimuli, be it money, power, sex, greed, the accumulation of material stuff. That is not where our power is. Don't get me wrong. What I said about all of the above has its place. Those things are what is called thrills and excitement. They're perfectly fine in life, but they have nothing to do with inner peace. They are temporary. They are rolling around on a wheel. You can be happy today and stressed tomorrow. These things are normal because life is like a will and you're going on a journey and the will is spinning. If you understand the, the I principle and you really grasp this, very little things can throw you off balance. I'm not saying you won't be triggered. I'm not saying that there won't be times that you're afraid, but your recovery will be amazing and your ability not to be shook even when you're triggered. You just realize, oh, that kind of triggered me. Hmm, feel that emotion. You are not your emotions. People think narcissists don't have emotion. That's crazy. They do. They just, they're just missing the eye. So these emotions are very devastating to them. That's why they can't take ownership for anything that they've done. That's why they run away or project the energy that they're experiencing or the emotions that they're experiencing unto you. They have no I. So when they experience something, it's stagnant. It's not fluid. There's no fluidity motion to the wheel. It's stuck. It's painful. There's nothing there to navigate with except an empty vessel that has, in my belief, that has been uh, replaced by something evil and dark. You see, this is why I am so direct on my show and talk to us as adults and believe, not only believe, but know that your main problem, be it male or female, is that you are not going for your inner power. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about women walking around like men. Please get out of that thinking. I'm not saying to walk around like a masculine Newton woman. That's not my that's not my cup of tea. That's not my direction. I believe in the one of the problems in society that men aren't men and women aren't women. There's a different energy of power. And I'll I'm digressing here a bit. But my point is, is that when you grasp the eye, everything that happens to you, you know is temporary, and that significantly decreases 
the impact of whatever you're going through. And you know that it was an attack on the me. Remember the I versus the me? That it was an attack on the me and it damaged me. It is not you that is suffering. It is the image of you that is suffering. It is impossible for a sentient human being to suffer if they're connected to the I. If you are connected to the core and the hub of who and what you are, you become unbreakable. Doesn't mean that you won't experience all of the emotions at times that I that are on this screen and others that are not. What it means is, is that you will always have self-agency and these things will not be steering the vessel called you. You will. Just like when you're in a car and you're going over a bumpy, turbulent road or you're flying a plane and you're in heavy turbulence. You don't let go of the wheel. The I is your steering wheel to get through whatever kind of turbulence you are going through. Everything in our society is trying to pull you away from the I and baby you into believing that you are powerless and weak. And this is why I get so frustrated when I hear other people talking about narcissism and saying, oh, you should fear the narcissism. The narcissist is going to get you in the boogeyman. But fuck that. You're as weak as you believe you are. And this world will tear you down if you don't connect to the eye and travel inward and stop looking for a soft place to rest your head. I'm not saying that that won't come. There are good people out there that will certainly be cohesive with your goals and your objectives and your motivations and needs if you connect with the eye. But if you walk around this world looking for someone just to be nice to me all the time and help me feel better, you're going to walk yourself right smack back dab into a relationship with a narcissist and a toxic person, be it if you're a female or a male. You will forever be prey and not be able to navigate. There are too many of these type of people not to come across them again. If you become fully alive, it doesn't matter when you cross them. You will see them and they will have no power over you. God has made you powerful. You're just not listening and utilizing the gifts that he gave us. Remember, he gave us the ability to survive with crocodiles at the watering hole. Lions, rhinoceros, black mamba, snakes that are poisonous, grizzly bears, bears, jellyfish, poisonous jellyfish. You name it. And toxic, evil narcissists. If you are willing to do the work, if you are willing to grow up and take a look and really ask the same questions that all of the great thinkers throughout society was asking, who am I? And once you know that I, and the way that you will know it is by pulling back the layers of the me. It's, it's just like everything in nature. You don't have to go out and get it. You just have to unpeel the, the misinformation and the fallacies that are in your head. How do you become happy? Drop on happiness. What is happiness? Most people would rather have all of the illusions of happiness than be happy. Would you rather be rich, famous, and you know, have a beautiful husband or girlfriend, wife, etc.? All of the things that you've been conditioned to believe is happiness, or would you rather be happy? That's a question that you have to answer because most people will take the matrix because I, the me, that's, that's what I've been conditioned to believe and I don't really want to go deep and look at the eye and change my philosophies about the world. Just please give me back, give me my world back like it was when I was 26.
Give me the world I had when I was 18. Give me the world back that I had when I was 45. That's the matrix. The real you and the greatest gift this experience of narcissistic abuse has given you is the ability to be aware of the I and to travel inward to get to know the I, befriend the, the I, and be what you are designed to be. And that is a bad mobungu that's indestructible. That's what all the scriptures of the world are telling you. The world is in a mess, but everything is all right because you have God in you. Those who don't have God in them are missing the eye and it's been replaced with something else. Thank your lucky stars above that you still have the ability to connect with the eye. You guys, I could spend literally a, a week of seminars, eight hours a day, going through this, and I've done that, and giving exercise, exercises rather, to peel back the layer and really become cohesive with the core of your existence. The me is who you've been conditioned to believe you are. The I is what you are. Okay, you guys, I really want you guys to get this. And I deeply appreciate you guys being here today. It means a lot to me. And I really hope this information is coming across where you can understand it and ponder this stuff and make internal changes. And if you have a show that you would like me to do, what say you? Leave it in the comment box. I am here to help you. If there are things that I can do, topics I can cover that are more relevant for your own personal life, let me know. That's why I'm here, is to help good people, sentient human beings, people that have been tormented and abused by these little monsters, get their life back. I am you. I have been through soul-crushing experiences. So I am here to do whatever I can to help make you strong. We need a stronger population of healthy, sentient human beings. All right, you guys. Again, I appreciate you stopping by. And what say you about this show? Please leave your comments below. And if you have any questions about this show, please leave them below and I will do my best to answer them either in the comment box or read them on the next episode and um, hopefully bring a solution. So until next time, you guys, stay conscious, protect yourself at all time, and remember your power. Narcissists are not bigger than you. All right? And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.